Hi, this is Larry Jordan. This is an excerpt of a recent PowerUp webinar looking at the new features in the latest release of Final Cut to version 10.06. In this excerpt, we'll show you how to copy and paste effects attributes between clips. Another cool thing, simple but really neat, is paste attributes. Here, for instance, I have an effect. It zooms up. It's black and white. It's blurred. This one, full screen, no movement, no effects. And the next one, I change the position of it, but no movement, no effects. What I'd like to be able to do is take the effects from here and copy it, but I don't want to copy all of them. For that reason, select the clip, go up to the Edit menu, go to Copy, Keyboard Shortcuts, Command C. We've got that written on our wrist. We know that by heart. Select the clips that you want to paste those effects to. Now, if we select Paste Effects, it pastes all of the effects from the first clip onto whatever you have selected. It always pastes to the selected clip. But this is new, Paste Attributes. Opens the Paste Attribute window. If I had only one clip selected, I'd see the icon of it here. But here I've got two clips selected. I want to apply the 50s TV, which is blown out whites and black and white, but not the blur. I want to apply the scale, but I don't want to apply the position. When I click paste, watch what happens. Look at that. There's the move in on shot one, the move in on shot two, but the position for the second shot's in the center, and the move in, look at that, it's in the low left corner. It retained part of the original file settings, its position, its focus, but it copied just the effects that I specified. Command Z to get it back. Now look at one other thing. Notice how as I play this, the marker marks where that zoom stops. And it's two seconds into the clip. With each of these, notice now it scales up and the move stops when it hits the marker. That's what the markers are there to indicate where the move stops. Command Z. We actually have another choice. If I select these two clips, go to Paste Attributes. When the menu at the bottom says Maintain Timing, it means that the position of the keyframes will not change. They'll exactly match the clips you copy it to to the clip it came from. When you say stretch to fit, the positions of the keyframe will change based upon the difference in duration between the new clip and the old clip. I'm going to just set this to scale so we can see this better. This first clip, the move takes two seconds, and the clip itself runs four seconds. Well, the second clip is six seconds. It's longer. What happens when I say stretch to fit, the position of the keyframe is actually stretched based upon the duration of the shot, and it doesn't finish for another second. It takes three seconds to finish. This clip is three seconds long. The keyframe position is moved up, advanced, so the move actually happens faster. It's done with the zoom before we even reach the marker. This is exactly the same behavior we're used to inside Final Cut 7. It's just now we have it inside Final Cut 10. I've always liked paste attributes because I can control what happens to my keyframes. If you don't have keyframes, maintain timing is a perfectly good choice. The only time you care about that bottom menu is when you are pasting keyframes as well as effects. This has been an excerpt of a recent PowerUp webinar looking at the new features in the 10.06 release of Final Cut Pro 10. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at LarryJordan.biz store and look for Webinar 82.